Greetings from Don Bosco Tech Africa. One of the priority areas of Don Bosco Tech Africa mission is capacity building. And we do it for all our training centers in Africa and Madagascar. Thus, Don Bosco Tech Africa has partnered with the International Training Center of the International Labour Organization, that is ITC ILO, based in Turin, Italy, with support from the German government through Don Bosco Mondo in Germany. We are training four people from each of our training centers. Thus, we hope to train about 400 Tibet managers in Africa and Madagascar. The training is being done online and it takes about 10 weeks per training. The Tibet managers are both solutions as well as lay people. We have already accomplished the training of about 260 Tibet managers and this was done first with the English group. We have actually had two batches of English groups, one French group and another Portuguese group. And the last group of the French managers will begin their training soon. We are covering four special topics in this program. And through this training, we hope to achieve the following results. We want to improve our TVET offer. Secondly, we want to make our training more demand driven. Thirdly, we want to support our training centers for efficient resource management and finally to promote and support environmental conservation. We are highly hopeful that this training will come to a fruitful completion and that the effects will be seen in our training offer to our young people. Once we are through with this training, we will choose the best Tibet managers, about 80 of them, and give them a training in training of trainers. And this we hope to do in two batches, English and French, in the coming days. We will integrate the Portuguese group into one of these batches. I appreciated the fact that it not only forced us to look within, but also to look around and see what are the available resources that we have? What do we actually have in our position that we can mobilize and make our situations better? In terms of content, it touches very important Tibet components. Every moment is a moment of learning. The green Tibet thing, the opportunities that are there that are lying down, I think with the ICT ILO training that we went through makes us a little bit move a little bit ahead to say here is the potential that is just lying around. The program is very engaging and very practical and it is a it's something that uh, we can, without too much of a technical know-how, etc., to be able to, to interact with and to be 
to be able to benefit from. For sure, it gave me also a broader view and, and given uh, possibilities of look wider on the issues of Tibet and hopefully with now uh, possibilities of finding the answers for challenges which we are facing in our Tibet management. Another topic which really I really enjoyed was concerning self-sustainability and the financial management. It has also helped me as a principal and also as a director of the center to see how I can in my own little way to make this center as self-sustainable as possible. Process mapping. I feel like one of the things we are missing is this in our Tibet center system. Uh, this course gives how uh, we move from input to output and it provides different uh, process techniques and in different Tibet levels. Management practices in which I was helped to reorganize my knowledge on how to go about some of the managerial skills that I require to run the school. Uh, the financial planning and financial management, in terms of technical knowledge gained, I feel like that was an area that I was quite lacking. Greening Tivet, because most of our Tivet centers in Africa uh, were established for 35, 40 years ago. And now the world is changing, you know, to low carbon economy. It gives skill to the skill and knowledge to the Tivet managers, one. Uh, and it uh, brings them information on the current Tibet management modalities and systems. Uh, plus, opens the horizon and brings a lot of people from different countries uh, sharing of experience. Et également, euh, grâce à la formation, nous avons pu euh, créer des partenaires gagnants-gagnants avec des entreprises qui, à ce que nos étudiants aujourd'hui, et bon, la quasi-totalité, puissent avoir chacun un stage. For stakeholders mapping, it has equally broadened my knowledge on how to successfully partner with the various stakeholders that are involved in Tivet. There is serious need for change in mentality and the way we run our Tivet centers. There is need to work as a team. There is need to plan our activities. There is need to work according to the strategic uh, plans we have. And then, of course, this will help us to channel our interventions in such a way that we can manage the little scarce resources we have and then effectively run our Tivet centers. Toutefois, à mon humble avis, le centre d'enseignement de formation professionnelle et technique a profité de cette formation dans le sens qu'en tenant compte des deux modules que j'ai appris, que j'ai beaucoup apprécié, j'ai été en mesure de relever les défis. Ce qui, normalement, automatiquement, a entraîné le changement de stratégie de travail. We have created a platform and uh, the essence of creating this platform is for us to hear from all the participants. And then of course, each one uh, brings in, you know, his own, uh, what I call it, expertise and gifts and whatever he has learned. And then as a team, we try to trickle it down to the centers. Then in the area of the Green Tibet, we have mounted uh, the biogas plants in the Green Center of Excellence in Onicha. Okay, we've equally uh, installed uh, the wastewater and water management system. We equally um, have uh, the, the, the solar. My final assignment, I stress about the point of making the center a uh, green tea center. And we have already started adding more dustbins and try to encourage people to keep this place clean. We are trying to manage our waste by especially making charcoal out of our sawdust and also firewood from our sawdust. We are also trying to have our waste, the wet waste, by having, uh, getting compost uh, manure, so that it can also be an example for other senders. Um, right now we're in the process of uh, panel meeting our current strategic plan as an institution. And this is because we now have the tools and the resources and the knowledge and we can now execute better some of the plans that we had initially thought of. 
to me, we contextualize, then we prioritize, and we use the techniques and the methods and the tools we get from this course, and we go to implementation. We hope to continue this process, to journey with our people, to, to guide them, to encourage them, and to accompany them. I would like to thank TV Tech Africa for choosing these right topics and also for giving this training. I'm very grateful to Don Bosco Tech Africa, to ITC ILO, to uh, my colleagues, you know, those who had the opportunity to attend this online course, uh, to my provincial uh, delegate superior and all those who uh, assisted us to do this training online and to our donors as well. Thank you very much.